In September 1961, two medical dramas made their debut on television NBC's Dr. Kildare and CBS's Ben Casey. While Dr. Kildare featured a compassionate intern, Ben Casey, based on a long-running radio drama, took a different approach. The show starred Vince Edwards as the title character, a tough and brilliant neurosurgeon. Ben Casey quickly gained popularity and became a hit among audiences. However, the actor playing the lead role found himself in trouble with the law. Just a few months after the show's premiere, Edwards was arrested and charged with car theft. The arrest made headlines, and many wondered if this scandal would affect the show's success. Despite the controversy, Ben Casey continued to be a hit, and the incident did not seem to harm Edwards' career. The show ran for five seasons, and is still remembered as a classic medical drama. The story behind Vince Edwards' arrest for car theft adds an interesting layer to the history of this classic show. While the actor's legal troubles may have been a distraction, they did not overshadow the show's impact and legacy in the world of medical dramas. Today, Ben Casey remains a beloved and enduring example of the genre's early days. Vince Edwards, the actor best known for his role as Ben Casey, embodied the character of a resident neurosurgeon at Metro General Hospital with great precision. The show, created by James Mosier, aired from 1961 to 1966 and was renowned for its gritty and gruff portrayal of Dr. Casey. The character's mentor, Dr. Zorba, played by Sam Jaff, was the only hospital official who could tame the otherwise unruly Dr. Casey. Ben Casey was a classic medical drama that resonated with audiences of the time. The show's success can be attributed to the compelling storylines and the exceptional performances of its cast members. Vince Edwards, in particular, delivered a standout performance as the tough and no-nonsense Dr. Casey. His portrayal of the character was so believable that it became difficult to separate the actor from the role. Dr. Zorba, on the other hand, was the perfect mentor for Dr. Casey. Played by Sam Jaff, Dr. Zorba was the only hospital official who could tame the otherwise unruly Dr. Casey. His calm and composed demeanor provided a stark contrast to Dr. Casey's gruff exterior, making for a compelling dynamic between the two characters. The relationship between Dr. Casey and Dr. Zorba was at the heart of the show. Their interactions provided a glimpse into the world of hospital politics and the challenges that come with being a neurosurgeon. Through their relationship, viewers were able to see the human side of medicine with all its triumphs and failures. In summary, Vince Edwards' portrayal of Ben Casey and Sam Jaff's performance as Dr. Zorba were instrumental in the success of this classic medical drama. The show's compelling storylines and realistic portrayal of hospital politics and medicine made it a must-watch for audiences of the time. The relationship between Dr. Casey and Dr. Zorba, in particular, was a highlight of the show, providing a glimpse into the human side of medicine. The series Ben Casey opened with Dr. Zorba writing symbols on a blackboard, one of which was for the lead character, Dr. Ben Casey. The actor who brought this complex character to life was Vince Edwards. With his intense gaze and confident demeanor, Edwards earned Emmy nominations in the first season of this classic medical drama. James Moser, the creator of Ben Casey, based the character on Dr. Alan Warner, a neurosurgeon who served as a technical advisor on the show. Warner's expertise and real-life experiences in the medical field helped shape the authentic and compelling storylines of the series. Vince Edwards, a talented and dedicated actor, brought the character of Dr. Ben Casey to life. He embodied the confidence, intelligence, and determination of the character, making him relatable and engaging to audiences. The show's success can be attributed in part to Edwards' ability to convincingly portray the complexities of Dr. Casey. In summary, Ben Casey was a groundbreaking medical drama that featured a talented cast, including Vince Edwards as the lead character, Dr. Ben Casey. The show was inspired by the real-life experiences of a neurosurgeon, Dr. Alan Warner, who served as a technical advisor. The success of the series can be attributed to the authentic storylines and the powerful performance of Vince Edwards. Vince Edwards, the actor best known for his role as Ben Casey, starred in a classic medical drama that was filmed at DeZillu in Hollywood. The show ran for 60 minutes and had five seasons, resulting in a total of 153 episodes. Ben Casey, the character played by Edwards, left a lasting impact on popular culture. The show's success led to various adaptations, including comic strips, comic books, and novels. These adaptations helped to expand the show's reach and solidify its place in popular culture. The character of Ben Casey resonated with audiences, and his influence extended beyond the small screen. 
1962, a semi-comedic rock song titled Calling Dr. Casey was released and reached number 83 on the Billboard Hot 100. The song's popularity was a testament to the show's impact and the enduring appeal of the Ben Casey character. The show's success was not limited to its adaptations and musical homages. Ben Casey's influence extended to the world of medicine, with some medical professionals citing the show as an inspiration for their careers. The show's realistic portrayal of medical procedures and ethical dilemmas helped to humanize the medical profession and make it more accessible to the general public. In conclusion, Vince Edwards' portrayal of Ben Casey in this classic medical drama left an indelible mark on popular culture. The show's success led to various adaptations and homages, including comic strips, comic books, novels, and a rock song. The character of Ben Casey resonated with audiences and inspired some medical professionals. The show's impact transcended the world of entertainment and left a lasting legacy in the realm of medicine. Vince Edwards, an actor well known for his role in the medical drama Ben Casey, found himself in a legal dispute during the 1980s. The American troops in Vietnam had adopted the nickname Ben Casey for medics due to the show's portrayal of the title character's dedication to saving lives. However, the actor's life took a dramatic turn off screen. In 1984, Edwards became entangled in a disagreement with MetaQuick Inc., a Texas-based company, over a car loan for commercials. The company had provided him with a 1984 Toyota under a contract, which he was expected to return after a year of use. Unfortunately, the actor failed to return the vehicle as agreed, leading to a dispute. The legal matter arose from the breach of contract, as Edwards had not fulfilled his obligation to return the car. The situation highlights the importance of adhering to contractual agreements, even for those in the public eye. This incident serves as a reminder that the glamour of Hollywood and the impact of popular culture, as seen in Ben Casey, can sometimes be overshadowed by real-life legal issues. The Vietnam War may have seen American troops using Ben Casey as a term of endearment for medics, but the actor's own life took a different turn, with a focus on contract disputes rather than television stardom. Vince Edwards, the actor known for his role in the classic television show Ben Casey, had his fair share of disputes and personal struggles throughout his career. One of his most publicized conflicts was with a Texas-based company over his performance and contract terms. The disagreement between the two parties led to a legal battle, the details of which have been largely kept private. In addition to these disputes, Edwards struggled with a compulsive gambling addiction that significantly impacted his career. The actor's habit became so severe that it began to interfere with his ability to work consistently, leading to a decline in his professional opportunities. Despite his talent and success, this addiction ultimately became a significant obstacle in his path. However, in his later years, Edwards and his wife made a conscious effort to educate others about the dangers of gambling. They spoke openly about their experiences and the challenges they faced as a result of the actor's addiction. Through their efforts, they hoped to raise awareness and help others avoid the same pitfalls they had encountered. Despite the challenges he faced, Vince Edwards will always be remembered for his contributions to the world of television and film. His legacy lives on through his classic performances and the impact he had on those around him. Even in the face of adversity, he continued to persevere and leave his mark on the industry he loved. Vince Edwards, the actor known for his role in the classic television show Ben Casey, died on March 11, 1996, after a battle with pancreatic cancer. His passing was a loss for the entertainment industry and his fans who had come to know and love him for his talent and charisma. Edwards was buried in Holy Cross Cemetery in Culver City, a fitting resting place for a man who had made such an impact in the world of film and television. His contributions to the industry were numerous, and he will always be remembered for his memorable performances. But even in death, Edwards had a message to share. His wife spoke out after his passing, sharing his belief that gambling is not glamorous, despite the euphemisms that are often used to describe it. He wanted to remind people of the dangers and pitfalls of gambling and the negative impact it can have on individuals and families. For those who knew and loved Vince Edwards, his passing was a sad moment, but his legacy lives on, both through his work and through the message he left behind. He will always be remembered as a talented actor and a man of conviction who used his platform to speak out on issues that mattered to him. In the world of acting, Vince Edwards left an indelible mark. Born on July 9, 1928, in Brooklyn, New York, Edwards began his journey to stardom at a young age. 
After serving in the United States Air Force, he studied drama at the Actors Studio in New York City. Edward's breakout role came in 1956 when he starred as Dr. Ben Casey in the hit medical drama of the same name. The show ran for five seasons and made Edwards a household name. His portrayal of the tough, yet compassionate doctor resonated with audiences and cemented his status as a talented actor. Throughout his career, Edwards appeared in numerous films and television shows, showcasing his versatility as an actor. He starred alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars, including John Wayne, Henry Fonda, and James Stewart. In addition to his work in front of the camera, Edwards also directed and produced several films and television shows. He even formed his own production company, Vince Edwards Productions, in the 1970s. Despite his success, Edwards remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to act and direct until his passing on March 15, 1996. Today, his legacy lives on and his contributions to the world of entertainment continue to be celebrated. Born on July 9, 1928, in Brooklyn, New York, Vince Edwards was the eldest of three children. His father, Frank Edwards, was a truck driver, while his mother, Catherine, was a housewife. Edwards' passion for acting began at a young age when he started performing in school plays. His natural talent and charisma were evident, leading teachers to encourage his pursuit of a career in the performing arts. During his teenage years, Edwards attended Thomas Jefferson High School, where he continued to hone his acting skills. He was an active member of the school's drama club and participated in various local theater productions. After graduating from high school, Edwards decided to further his education and enrolled at the prestigious Actors Studio in New York City. At the Actors Studio, Edwards studied under the tutelage of renowned acting coach Lee Strasberg. Strasberg's method acting technique had a profound impact on Edwards' approach to his craft. He learned to delve deep into his characters' psyches, exploring their emotions, motivations, and backgrounds. This intensive training laid the groundwork for Edwards' successful career as an actor. Throughout his career, Edwards credited Strasberg as one of his most significant influences and mentors. In addition to Strasberg, Edwards was inspired by the work of Marlon Brando and James Dean. He admired their ability to convey raw emotion and authenticity in their performances, which he strived to emulate in his own work. Edwards' early exposure to the world of acting, combined with his natural talent and the guidance of influential mentors, set the stage for his successful career in Hollywood. His dedication to his craft and commitment to delivering authentic performances left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. The lessons he learned from his early influences remained a cornerstone of his approach to acting throughout his life. Ever since Vince Edwards was a young boy, he was drawn to the magic of storytelling. He would often put on shows for his family and neighbors using props made from household items. His mother, an amateur actress, nurtured his creative spirit and encouraged him to pursue his dreams. In high school, Vince discovered his passion for acting. He landed the lead role in the school play, and from that moment on, he knew he wanted to become an actor. He spent countless hours honing his craft, attending acting classes, and performing in local theater productions. One pivotal experience that fueled Vince's desire to pursue a career in acting was seeing a live performance of a streetcar named Desire starring Marlon Brando. Vince was captivated by Brando's raw and emotional portrayal of Stanley Kowalski, he left the theater feeling inspired and determined to become an actor. After high school, Vince moved to New York City to pursue his acting career. He struggled at first, working odd jobs to make ends meet, but he never gave up on his dream. He continued to audition for roles and eventually landed a part in a Broadway production. From there, Vince's career took off. He became a familiar face on television, starring in popular shows like Ben Casey and Matt Houston. He also appeared in numerous films, including The Devil's Hairpin and The Naked and The Dead. Throughout his career, Vince remained dedicated to his craft. He continued to challenge himself with diverse roles, always striving to perfect his art. His passion for acting never waned, and he left behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring actors to this day. Vince Edwards, born Vincent Edward Zeglin in 1928, faced numerous challenges on his path to acting success. Raised in a working-class family in Brooklyn, money was often tight. To help his family make ends meet, Vince took on various jobs, including delivering groceries and working as a newspaper boy. Despite these financial struggles, Vince's passion for acting never wavered. After high school, he pursued his dream by attending the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. However, he soon encountered industry skepticism. At six feet tall and athletically built, 
Vince didn't fit the mold of a typical leading man. Undeter, he honed his craft and refused to be pigeonholed. Vince's big break came in 1956 when he was cast as Ben Casey, a brilliant and intense neurosurgeon in the television series of the same name. The show was a massive hit, and Vince's portrayal of Ben Casey resonated with audiences. However, his journey to stardom was not without its obstacles. During the early years of his career, Vince faced rejection after rejection. Producers and directors often told him he was too tall or that his rugged good looks were better suited for action roles. But Vince refused to be discouraged. He continued to audition and take on whatever roles he could find, gradually building a reputation as a talented and versatile actor. In addition to his work on television, Vince also appeared in numerous films, including The Devil's Hairpin and The Man in the Glass Booth. He even directed and produced several movies, showcasing his creativity and resilience. Throughout his career, Vince Edwards faced numerous obstacles, from financial struggles to industry skepticism. But he never gave up on his dream. Instead, he found creative solutions to overcome these hurdles, paving the way for a successful and fulfilling career in acting. In 1955, Vince Edwards' career reached a turning point with his groundbreaking role in the medical drama Ben Casey. As the title character, a passionate and dedicated neurosurgeon, Edwards captivated audiences with his intense performance. Co-star Sam Jaff praised Edwards' ability to convey the complex emotions of a surgeon, stating Vince had a rare talent for embodying the intensity and dedication of a medical professional. Critics also took notice of Edwards' work, with the New York Times praising his compelling portrayal of a man torn between his devotion to medicine and his personal life. The show's success, running for five seasons and 153 episodes, solidified Edwards' status as a leading man and established him as a respected actor in the industry. In 1965, Edwards again pushed boundaries with his role in the controversial film The Devil's Angels. Playing the leader of a motorcycle gang, Edwards brought depth and nuance to a character often portrayed as one-dimensional. Director Daniel Holler noted, Vince brought a humanity to the role that was both surprising and powerful. He challenged the audience's perceptions and left a lasting impact. Throughout his career, Vince Edwards continued to take on challenging roles and push the boundaries of his craft. His breakthrough moments in Ben Casey and The Devil's Angels not only showcased his versatility as an actor, but also solidified his place in television and film history. Vince Edwards, an actor known for his work in the medical drama Ben Casey, had a unique approach to his craft. He was deeply committed to his roles and often delved into the personal experiences and emotions of his characters. Edwards once said, I try to become the character, to live him, to feel what he feels. This immersive approach allowed him to bring a sense of authenticity and depth to his performances. Edwards' worldview was heavily influenced by his upbringing in a working class family in Brooklyn, New York. He often played characters who were grappling with their own personal struggles and trying to make their way in the world. This sense of determination and resilience was a reflection of his own experiences and values. One of the most notable aspects of Edwards' acting style was his ability to convey a wide range of emotions with subtlety and nuance. He was known for his intense brooding presence on screen, but he was also capable of great vulnerability and tenderness. This versatility made him a compelling and captivating actor, able to hold the audience's attention even in the most understated moments. In addition to his work in Ben Casey, Edwards appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout his career. He was also a singer and recorded several albums. Despite his success in multiple fields, he remained deeply committed to his craft and continued to challenge himself as an actor until the end of his life. Throughout his career, Vince Edwards left an indelible mark on the world of acting. His unique approach to his work, his ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance, and his commitment to his craft have made him a beloved and enduring figure in the annals of Hollywood history. Vince Edwards, an actor who left an indelible mark on the industry, was born in 1928. His career spanned over four decades, and he became a household name in the 1960s for his portrayal of Dr. Ben Casey in the medical drama of the same name. Edwards' impact on the industry was significant. He brought a new level of intensity and complexity to the role of a doctor on television, according to industry expert Tom Newman, Vince Edwards' portrayal of Dr. Ben Casey was a game changer. He brought a level of intensity and humanity to the role that had not been seen before. Edwards' influence extended beyond his on-screen performances. He was known for his commitment to the craft of acting 
and his dedication to his fellow actors. He co-founded the Association of Producing Artists, an organization that aimed to give actors more control over their careers and the productions they worked on. The trends that Edwards influenced are still felt today. His commitment to realism and his willingness to explore the darker aspects of his characters helped to pave the way for the gritty, character-driven dramas that are popular today. Edwards' techniques, such as his use of stillness and his ability to convey complex emotions with just a look, have also been widely influential. According to actor David Duchovny, Vince Edwards had a way of being still and present in a scene that was incredibly powerful. He could convey so much with just a look, and it's a technique that I've tried to emulate in my own work. The storytelling that Edwards was a part of has also left a lasting impact. The medical dramas of the 1960s, such as Dr. Kildare and Ben Casey, helped to shape the way that medical professionals were portrayed on television. These shows explored the personal and professional lives of doctors, and they helped to humanize a profession that had often been portrayed as cold and detached. In conclusion, Vince Edwards was a trailblazer in the world of acting. His contributions to the industry, his influence on trends and techniques, and his impact on storytelling continue to be felt today. His legacy is a testament to his talent, his dedication, and his commitment to his craft. Vince Edwards, an accomplished actor, led a life outside of the spotlight that was deeply informed by his personal values and interests. Born on July 9, 1928, in Brooklyn, New York, Edwards was raised in a family that emphasized the importance of hard work and education. These early experiences shaped his values and informed his career choices. Throughout his life, Edwards was passionate about giving back to his community and supporting various philanthropic causes. He was particularly interested in supporting medical research and education, and he worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funds for these important issues. One of Edwards' most notable philanthropic efforts was his work with the American Cancer Society. He served as the national chairman of the organization's Great American Smokeout Campaign, which aimed to encourage people to quit smoking and reduce their risk of cancer. Edwards was a strong advocate for this cause, and he used his platform as an actor to raise awareness about the dangers of smoking and the importance of cancer research. In addition to his work with the American Cancer Society, Edwards was also involved in various other charitable organizations. He was a longtime supporter of the Muscular Dystrophy Association, and he worked closely with the organization to raise funds and awareness for research into this debilitating disease. Edwards' personal values and interests also informed his work as an actor. He was known for his strong work ethic and his commitment to his craft, and he often chose roles that reflected his own beliefs and values. For example, he starred in the television series Ben Casey, which followed the life of a dedicated and compassionate doctor. This role allowed Edwards to explore his interest in medicine and to use his platform as an actor to promote the importance of quality healthcare. Despite his many accomplishments, Edwards remained humble and dedicated to his craft throughout his life. He was a true professional, and he inspired countless others with his passion, dedication, and commitment to making a difference in the world. Vince Edwards, a name that will always be remembered in the acting world. With a career spanning over four decades, Edwards left an enduring mark in the industry. He became a household name for his role in the medical drama Ben Casey, which aired from 1961 to 1966. His portrayal of the brilliant and passionate neurosurgeon resonated with audiences, making him a symbol of determination and resilience. Edwards was not just an actor, he was a director, producer, and singer as well. His versatility in the industry allowed him to explore different creative avenues, further solidifying his place in Hollywood's history. Throughout his career, he worked with some of the most prominent figures in the industry, including Judy Garland, Betta Davis, and Richard Burton. For those aspiring to follow in his footsteps, Edwards once said, always be true to yourself and never stop learning. He believed that staying authentic to one's values and constantly honing one's craft were essential to success in the industry. He also emphasized the importance of perseverance, stating that rejection was a natural part of the business and one should not let it deter them from pursuing their dreams. Edwards' legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors, directors, and producers. His work serves as a testament to the power of hard work, dedication, and authenticity. As we look to the future, we can only imagine the contributions that future professionals will make to the industry. With the right mindset and passion, they too can leave an indelible mark on the world of entertainment.
In conclusion, Vince Edwards' legacy is a vibrant tapestry of talent, hard work, and authenticity. His advice to aspiring professionals remains relevant today, serving as a guide for those looking to make their mark in the industry. By staying true to oneself and continuously learning, one can embark on a fulfilling and successful career in the world of entertainment. Vince Edwards, born Vincent Edwards Zagoda in 1928, was a man of passion and innovation who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His journey began in the late 1940s when he started acting in small roles, eventually leading to his breakthrough role in the television series Ben Casey in the early 1960s. Throughout his career, Edwards demonstrated his versatility as an actor, director, and singer. He starred in numerous films, including The Devil's Hairpin and The Man With My Face, and directed episodes of Matt Houston and Hawaii Five-O. His passion for music also led him to release several albums, showcasing his rich baritone voice. Edwards' impact on the entertainment industry transcended his on-screen performances. He was a trailblazer in many ways, advocating for actors' rights and fighting for fair compensation. His innovative approach to his craft and his unwavering dedication to his passions continue to resonate with aspiring actors and industry professionals today. In the end, Vince Edwards' story is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a reminder that with hard work and determination, anyone can leave their mark on the world. So, let us all be inspired by Edwards' journey and remember that our passions and dreams can become a reality if we are willing to put in the effort and never give up. As we take a moment to appreciate the work of Vince Edwards, let's hear your thoughts on his career and legacy. What made his performances so memorable? Did you have a favorite role or performance of his? Edwards, born on July 9, 1928, was known for his versatile acting skills and charismatic presence on screen. His career spanned over four decades, with notable roles in television shows like Ben Casey and films such as The Devil's Hairpin and Mistress Gibson. His impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today, as his work continues to inspire new generations of actors and filmmakers. By sharing your memories and experiences with his work, you can help keep his legacy alive. So, don't be shy. Share your thoughts in the comments below, and let's celebrate the life and career of this talented actor. And if you enjoyed this content, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into the lives and work of the creative spirits shaping entertainment.